from High Tech Legion. Recently, Ineo Technologies, a leader in external storage in NAS, has uh, gone into the multimedia business with their new line of Alien Vibe speakers. Today we're going to take a look at the W402, which is a 2.13 piece system, as you can see, featuring two satellites, each with two 3-inch mid-bases, uh, and mid-range I should say, uh, as well as a 1-inch tweeter, and a subwoofer with a 5 and a quarter inch sub uh, in a fourth order bandpass enclosure. Uh, amplifier is built into the main console which also houses the sub. It is 15 watts RMS by 2 to the satellites, 40 watts RMS mono to the subwoofer. Um, also as you see you've got a ton of controls on the unit itself for volume, bass, treble, uh, as well as three separate inputs. You've got uh, two inputs which are selectable, so you can use your computer, as well as another uh, external source, such as a TV, MP3 player, uh, CD player, whatever you're looking to do. And also, if you take a look, you've got a USB and SD card slot down here as a separate input with controls uh, to go back and forth through songs, play and pause, as well as uh, selectable EQ settings, which is only for the um, USB and SD card input. Taking a look at the satellites, we can see all wood enclosure, actually very nice. Uh, there's no connector in the back, wire is hardwired in with an RCA connector which is going to go into the amplifier. Plastic piano black finish on the front. As you can see, we've got two 3-inch drivers as well as a 1-inch dome tweeter. It's a hard dome tweeter, so you're going to get uh, a little bit more bass extension than what you're used to. Typically in this price range, we're used to seeing either a 1.5 or 2-inch uh, mid-range mid-bass, and it's not going to be able to produce the mid-bass. That's where you wind up with either the hole between the uh, mid-range of satellites and the subwoofer, or you wind up with the subwoofer being crossed over way too high, um, which results in really boomy bass. But the two three inch, uh, you've got enough cone surface area that you're gonna be able to get down to about 120 hertz without a problem. So you're gonna get some really crisp, tight, snappy mid bass uh, above the sub, and you're gonna get a better mesh with the subwoofer itself. So it's gonna sound like one driver, which is really the key to what you're looking at. Now, they are a bit larger than we're used to seeing also, so you're gonna need some room on your desk, as you can see. Um, but all in all, a good looking satellite. Uh, and very nice design, especially I really like the two three inch uh, in place of a two and a half, or I should say a two inch or a one and a half inch. The subwoofer is housed in also the control panel, which uh, also holds the amplifier and all your controls. Uh, going up top, you've got an input selector, a mute button, volume up and down, um, menu button as well. Uh, the menu will walk you through the menu for bass and treble controls also. Um, Going down, as I say, you've got your SD input. Also, you've got a visual display up in the front, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. As I say, this is a fourth order bandpass enclosure, at least as far as we can tell from the outside. Uh, it's a so, totally sealed enclosure with the tuned port on the side. I did find during testing that it does like to be corner loaded for best results, meaning you want to put it uh, in proximity to a wall, facing a wall in a corner. That's actually going to give you better reflected sound and a little bit more uh, oomph to the bass, shall we say. Moving around the back, amplifier is built inside with the connectors in the back. Now, as I did say, uh, you've got two separate uh, inputs back here. You've got an aux in, three and a half millimeter, as well as RCA inputs. Uh, only one obviously can be used at a time. They can both be plugged in. However, you're going to have to select which input you want to use, uh, which is selectable through the front control panel. The outputs to the speakers are done through RCA and power on off switch right in the back as well as your cord. Um, also, as I say, this is 15 watts by 2, 40 watts by 1 RMS continuous power to the satellites and the sub. In terms of accessories, the Alien Vibes W402 comes with a user's manual, which of course includes very easy setup instructions, package contents obviously, uh, as well as a little bit of an explanation on all the controls. Um, the controls obviously very self-explanatory, probably the uh, Biggest thing being the EQ for the USB and SD card, uh, eight different settings, and these settings are listed out here. Next, simple three and a half millimeter to RCA. If you do want to use two three and a half millimeter sources, uh, you've got an adapter to go into the RCAs as well. And finally, you've got a wireless remote. Pretty simple remote, power on and off. 
your input selector of aux 1, aux 2, and the USB SD mute button. Reset. The resets are uh, actually very important. Just said the fact that um, there's no visual indicator as far as how high your bass treble, uh, what EQ setting you're using or whatnot. If you want to get everything back to flat, a simple press on the reset is going to take care of that for you. Uh, the EQ button will walk you through the EQ modes for the USB uh, SD card reader. You've got your controls for the USB SD card reader, master volume, bass and treble up and down. Uh, there's also a numeric keypad, and for the life of me, I can't figure out what it does. I do believe it's non-functional on this unit, and it is a shared remote. Getting a look at the W402 all fired up. Uh, as you can see, you do have a display in the front, and taking a look through, you've got your mute button, and as you can see, the corresponding mute will light, uh, turn on and off. You have got your menu button, which will walk you through bass, which can be adjusted through the volume up and down. Um, once you're over to bass, raising or lowering uh, will bring the bass level up and down. Hitting the menu button twice brings you to treble, same thing. As you notice, there is no uh, indicator of any kind where your bass or treble level is or your volume level. Um, going over to your input, it'll take you to what is labeled as CD, which is the RCA's auxiliary, which is the three and a half, or the USB. Uh, the USB uh, light will light up on the bottom, <clears throat> as you can see, and the volume up and down buttons. Now, down the bottom, we've got the EQ, uh, song back, or I should say track back, uh, play and pause, track forward, and your USB and SD card slots. When you're in the USB mode, if you just pop any USB drive in there with music on it, it'll just start to play. And the EQ mode will walk you through the eight different EQ settings that are available. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. And your next track will bring you to the next track. Or back to the last. And play and pause. Very, very simple to operate. Uh, but obviously very useful if you're going to have music on a USB or SD card. Uh, you can basically copy over anything from your computer and just pop it right into the front and have it good to go. Or if you know, you're having company or whatnot and they're bringing music with them, you've basically got uh, a really good array of inputs uh, with the two rear inputs as well as the front USB SD card. The W402 is definitely a very interesting first-gen piece from uh, Alien Vibes uh, and the makers at Ineotech. Um, got 15 by 2 plus 40 by 1 RMS continuous amp, as well as two satellites with two 3-inch drivers, as well as one tweeter in each. Uh, that is a 1-inch dome tweeter, 5 and a quarter inch subwoofer in a bandpass enclosure, three separate selectable inputs, uh, and the great, as we saw, USB and SD card input. Really a very, very nice offering from Alien Vibes.